Warden Commander, a pleasure to meet you. I'm Mistress Wolsey, sent by order of the First Warden at Whitehart. I'm to act as treasurer of the Arling of Amaranthine. He believed local men could not be trusted for this post. One of those local men is right here, Mistress Wolsey. I have every confidence in the Vigil's loyalty in the matter of arms. But gold corrupts even the most resolute soul. Not Weishaupt itself. I am from many places. I go where the Wardens command. Sir, the Arling is on the brink of economic collapse. Trade must flow. Merchant caravans are being systematically attacked somewhere along the Pilgrim's Path. It is the only route that can reliably provision an army, feed a city, and maintain civilization. It is the road here from Denerim. You can see why it would be important. In the city of Amaranthine, there is a trader, Mervis, whose caravans have been hit particularly hard. He may know where along the road the Darkspawn, or whatever they are, are striking. No. It is far to the north. The fortress is said to be impregnable. It still has the areas where the griffins of old would breed. But their like will never be seen again. Very well, Commander. To business, then. Orle sent a dozen wardens to the Vigil to await your arrival. Nearly all died in the attack, but Kristoff is still in the field. The Orlesian wardens were uneasy that the Darkspawn weren't going to ground with the blight ended. Kristoff was sent to track down some leads. A fortnight ago, he left in a bustle. As best we figure, he went to the city, Amaranthine. Wiser men than I have worried over that. One of the Wardens said the Archdemon's strength gave the Horde some semblance of purpose. If they found some other purpose... <sighs> Only so many places travelers visit. I check the inns and taverns. You did, but not to me. The Wardens keep their own counsel. That's the only thing that needs immediate attention. Do you want something else, Commander? We call her the Vigil. They say the Alamari Barbarians first built a fort here to stop Tevinta incursions from the lowlands of the Waking Sea. They say that the castle is built on a mountain of bones. Much death here. Commander? This is Sir Garavel, the new Captain of the Guard. I have a matter to bring to your attention. Potentially urgent. The Orlesians, wardens, I mean, began gathering information while they were here. The most promising lead they found was a wild tale a couple of hunters told. These hunters, Colbert and, well, the other one, claimed to have stumbled across an entrance to the deep roads. Darkspawn all over the place, they said. And this was before the fiends appeared throughout the whole Arling. The Wardens were just about to send someone to track down Colbert. Colbert and his friend are in the city of Amaranthine. Probably amongst the refugees outside the city gate. Commander. As you say. I shall do it. 
The Tower of Magi has sent me as an ambassador, Commander. In addition to my diplomatic function, I'm a competent enchanter and runesmith. Is there anything you need? Farewell, Commander. Point the way, fearless leader. Mistress Woolsey says I can set up shop here. The place is a shambles now, but I reckon that will change in time. You need anything, Commander? Need something pummeled? Just say the word. Very well. Blimey, Commander of the Grey. Right. A while back, they caught a thief in the vigil. Took four wardens to capture him. Gave one of the wardens a black eye, he did. Half joking, they said he might make a good recruit. He's in the dungeon, sir. I also have some letters. Arrived just before you did. Just give me a moment. have all this power at my fingertips. No, to always have to wear a skirt. <laughs> oh, you don't know the story behind the robes. You know how strict things are in the circle, right? Well, of course you do. Well, the robes make quick trysts in the corner easy. No laces or buttons, you're just, well, you're done before the Templars catch on. Really? Just ask anyone. Commander, good thing you're here. This one's been locked up three nights now. Good men died while this one was protected in his cell. He won't give his name. All I know is he was caught poking around the estate in the middle of the night. I'd say he was just a thief. But it took four Grey Wardens to capture him. 
You best be careful. Whoever he is, he's no ordinary burglar, that's for sure. As you wish, Commander. I'll tell the Seneschal you came. He'll want to know what you decide to do with this man. If it isn't the great hero, conqueror of the Blight and vanquisher of all evil, aren't you supposed to be ten feet tall with lightning bolts shooting out of your eyes? It does. I know you best as the one who murdered my father. I am Nathaniel Howe. My family owned these lands until you showed up. Do you even remember my father? My father served the hero of Riverdane and fought against the Orlesians, yet our family lost everything. I came here. I thought I was going to try to kill you, to lay a trap for you, but then I realized I just wanted to reclaim some of my family's things. It's all I have left. If you're asking whether I knew what he was up to, the answer is no. I was squired in the free marches. Look, I know you're a hero. You fought a war and you won, and to the victor go the spoils, right? Whatever my father did, however, shouldn't harm my whole family. The house are pariahs now. Those of us left. It's all thanks to you. And now you get to decide my fate. Ha! Ironic, isn't it? You're right. I'll go join King Alistair's service immediately. He'd be certain to give a how another chance. I'm not without skills. My time abroad wasn't spent chasing skirts and drinking wine. Hunting, scouting, poisons. Why? What do you care? If you let me go... Uh, I don't know. I only came back to Ferelden a month ago. If you let me go, I'll probably come back here. You might not catch me next time. I could lie, if you prefer. The Darkspawn are a menace. If it weren't for the Blight, maybe my father would never have done what he did. But I can't do anything about them, can I? There's just you and the Grey Wardens, here in my home. Already? Good. I brought the Seneschal for you, Commander. I see you've spoken to our guest. Quite the handful, isn't he? Have you decided what's to be done with him? <laughs> you what? I'm sorry, Commander. The right of conscription? On the prisoner? No, absolutely not. Hang me first. Hard to say. You like having Grey Wardens who want you dead? I can't decide if this is a vote of confidence or punishment. An interesting decision, Commander. Come with me, sir. We'll see if you survive the joining. From this moment forth, Nathaniel Howe, you are a Grey Warden. The moment of truth. The Howe is stronger than I expected. For better or for worse, he will live.
What man? Yes. Yes. I don't mean to alarm you, Commander, but it's possible there are still Darkspawn in the vigil. Let me explain. You know Dwarkin? That mad dwarf's bombs shook the whole keep. Some of the deep cellars caved in. I suspect that there are pockets of Darkspawn below, trapped. In time, they may dig their way out. Straight away, sir. Here we are. The vigil goes deep, real deep. And that blasted Dworkin's explosives didn't do the structure any favors. You heard the commander. This is where you come in. We'll be back here. Pay me enough to be a warden, charging off into dark basements. Do you see any nugs? What? what? I shall do it. What? It shall be done. You were staring at me, you mad skirt wearing freak. Oh, I thought you were being attacked. She was... she was like a mother to me. We must save her. Very well. What do you do with a drunken sailor?
Oh, thank the Maker. Please let us out. Quick, before more of those things come. It has begun. It shall be done. I shall do it. You always forbade us from playing in the cellars. <laughs> It's a little dark, isn't it? As you say. It has begun. I shall do it. As you say, it shall be done. There must be some way. A dryer. More enemies ahead! You murdered a slew of Darkspawn there. I... well... You hear the stories about you and the Wardens. But to see it firsthand... Well... 
I'm impressed. Anyway, it looks like the explosives caved this section in. I brought along Master Voldrick. So, this is how you humans ply your stonecraft. Disgraceful, that is. What, this would barely last a few centuries. I wager these passages may go far enough to connect to the deep roads. This? Hardly. This is a grave matter. Andraste's blood. There are basement entrances throughout the keep. Then we follow the tunnels and hope to find a single point to block off. With the Warden's muscle and my stonecraft, we'll find a way. We'll need some time, but as soon as we clear it, we'll let you know. Of course. So you're a how? Do you have a point, mage? Commander, so this is human construction, is it? My brother said you'd need a stonemason, but he didn't know the half of it. Aye. I'm surprised half the buildings in Ferelden haven't fallen over from a stiff breeze. The Darkspawn did a number on this keep of yours. Your Seneschal gave me some fancy decree promising men and monies to fix the vigil, but it's a paltry sum. I suppose it would be sufficient to reconstruct the walls to human standards, but who'd want that? I'm not certain of the character of the stone in these parts, but we'd need more men for certain. Proper skilled men, not some starving dusters, right? Which all boils down to coin, really. It will be Warden. Seneschal Veril is ready for you in the throne room, Commander. Your vassals await. <laughs> 